What's up and welcome! Today I'm going to be testing out a little bit of um, some sounds I've been making for this before boss room. I think I can just wait. Did I build that yet? Build it. So I'm taking some of the uh, some of the rooms that have special audio, and I'm making them procedural. So they have like 12 different notes in them, each one. So I've got to build this in FMOD. It exports like a bank. And then in the game, it changes the different notes based on based on the current like level the current dungeon's key. Let's check out the music verbosity. sure what key it is actually but the notes it shows were G A D and B which could be the key of C I'm not sure okay but this time there's an A sharp so let's see too loud actually. Let's hear that again. This time we'll do each one of these audio tracks. Let's take them down by... Oh, this one isn't even playing actually. <laughs> but anyways, we'll keep it anyway. Oh, this is minus three to zero. Yeah, let's take this down at least negative three each. Even though it's just this one. All right, build that. track procedural it surprises you each time you're like whoa that's what it sounds like as a G
Nice. This is sounded good. I'm just, I was debating in my mind the whole time listening to that, like, should I take the bass down a little bit further? Like, this would be like, maybe negative 4 dB. Let's try that. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna test this one last time and then I'll get to some pixel art. What's up, Somber Taco? Happy Saturday. If, it, if it's Saturday for you, what day is it for you? Yeah, that's better. Just that one decibel made a big difference there. Yeah, it's Saturday. All right, cool. We're on the same day. I want to hear that one more time, but this time with um, the boss. What does it sound like going into that boss track? I'm thinking about the boss track now because I'm taking each one of these little rooms like the the item room and the before boss room and next will be the boss room and taking them and making them all procedural tracks so this is like this is playing this song in like a G or something into a conference oh sweet dude for unity cool Mash. Sounds cool. Boss music might need to be a little louder. All right, all right, enough of this audio though. This is good. Got a before boss track, yes. It sounds pretty cool too. I like that track. All right, let's get that checked in. I added um, 12 different tracks, all for the different notes for that before boss. Room. Just added some metadata to the FMOD project. I modified the Ableton file. What's up with area though? What did I change there? Oh, I changed it to run the event before boss. That's right. Okay. Cool. That's a good way to add all those. Kovarni, what's up? Oh my god, 30 outside? Minus 30? Dang, man. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm lucky it's not like that here. Cool. So the before boss room now is procedural music. Oh yeah. All 
All right. Um, pixel art. Pixel art time. I've been thinking I should change the size of the bomb there. The bomb is... It looks like a crate almost now to me. I made it a little bit more 3D this morning, and I was like, it, I made it more proportional. And all of a sudden, it looks too big. Like way too big. Oh, I learned this sweet shortcut for Photoshop, Command Zero, just zooms all the way in. I never knew that one. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna try the bomb a little smaller. In fact, compared to Rock, it should not come up above his knees for sure. This is like a little cube thing, not like a... It's more like a grenade, less like a crate. So like even 4x4 four four is... 4x4 four four is like the max it should be. Wow. Oh, hi, Salad! Ahoy! Alright, so it's currently, I think, 8 by 8. It's, yeah, it's super huge. Compared to how it should be. Alright. Let's just make a small version then. Oh, the, the poll turned out really even, actually. It was super close. It was like 50 to 48, or 52 to 48, or something like that. <laughs> 52 went to the Mohawk, though. And I kind of want to do the Mohawk myself, so. The selection tool, the greatest PS tool ever. Oh, yeah, the selection tool is pretty good. You can do a lot of things with it. You can like select a bunch of pixels and then do a layer via copy and that'll copy only the selection rectangle, which is kind of neat sometimes. Okay, so this needs to be like half as small. Let's try it, just scaling it. Scale it, man, that's all. Dang, that's tiny. Can't be that tiny. You voted for the Mohawk, yes. The Mohawk won. All you Mohawk supporters, it's time to rejoice. Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm like, it just works really good with the hat too. So it's like, yeah, I can be really lazy with the art and just draw the hat on top of the mohawk and then, you know, like deselect the layer. Like check it out. Like if, if I got him like all set up for all, all these things right, he'll have the hat just easily just turn on the hat or turn off the hat for all these frames. Turn it on, turn it off. Turn on the sheath, turn off the sheath. Add the shirt, turn off the shirt. And now I got a script too, which exports them all. 
So it actually goes and does, okay, it does body hat and then body hat sheath and then body sheath and then body shirt and then body hat shirt. You know, it just like enumerates all over all those and exports them all. Super handy. And I'll take hat here. All right, the mohawk turns into a fro at the end. That that would that just satisfy some people, right? People would be like, "Oh yeah, thank you for throwing the fro in there." Okay, let's try the cube. This small. This is pretty small, but it's already bigger than it should be, kind of. The middle is 23. This whole thing. 48. Oh, so this is. This kind of should go one pixel that way. That's a little better. All right. Now we'll draw this stuff. A little Gaussian blur on top of that. Boom. What? Before I do that, these need to go up one pixel. Ah, so much better. Oh, so much better. Gosh, wow. The difference a pixel makes. Okay, it's kind of a more compact version. Oh, these stuff. Yeah, isn't it? It's so crazy. Oh, that's interesting. Putting the blur up a pixel. That's kind of cool. I like that. Cool, so I'm gonna override bomb friend. Let's see how that looks. certainly does make a difference. It's a lot more distinct from the bombs that you can pick up. Yes, you got your CMake list done, huh? Sweet.
Now I want to see it one pixel bigger. Right, that one was one pixel smaller. Well, let's try, I guess. Oh, the build time? Oh, okay. What kind of, what build timer do you use? Mm. Oh yeah. Needlessly complicated. I saw um a meatly about that this morning. This is a guy like overcomplicated man. <laughs> oh you're using C time? Oh cool. Is it like better than time? So what's the advantage of using this one? So this is now six pixels tall. At this ratio, it would be about four pixels tall on top. It's currently three. All right, let's make it a little taller. Okay, that's kind of a medium version. Oh, it's a lot more detailed. Oh, and it can tell successful builds. That's great. Oh. Cool. That's really awesome. Keep your uh, all keep your scripts going, right? That's nice. Hey, where did you find out about remember Tim um What's his name? Tim is it Forrest? that made the music for Bionic Commando and Solstice. You were telling me about the tricks and tips he's, or the tricks he used with arpeggios and all that. I was reading about him this morning. Yeah, Tim Fullen. So where did you find out about his... Yeah, I was asking in particular about the, arpe the arpeggios and the tricks he would use. Was there ever an article about 
or an interview with him or something about that? <clears throat> I'm really interested in that guy. I found a cool YouTube video about him. But just to look at another musician's career and see what they did over the over the length of their career, which projects they worked on, how their music evolved. Oh, it's been a long time, huh? Huh. I'll find it. There's probably an article out there about it or something. But it's just interesting to get his his like his mental outlook on how he does his music and how he approaches his projects and stuff. It's pretty interesting because I really respect the way he makes his music. It's so good. He's got he's just he's a sick musician for sure. And he didn't let anybody else like influence him, which is really neat. Or not that much, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Ness Audio, Full and Bros, Single Channel Echo. Oh, yeah, yeah, you were talking about that Single Channel Echo. That's right. By Explode 2A03, cool. Does he? Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> I love those tricks. Those are so cool. Oh, sweet. I hope this, key yeah, cool, it keeps it in my tabs. So I got a single channel e echo one and the arpeggio effect. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks, Salad. Can't wait to check that out later. All right, let's throw down some bombs. I think that works pretty good. It's a little bit smaller than the bomb you pick up, so it's, it's visually distinguishable. And I just gotta make the bomb art for when it's flying in the top hat a little bit in sync with that now. So let's save this over the top. Well, Mm, let's get the bomb friend open again first. Hey, what's up, Suxel? Oh, really? Okay. Just grab this color. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna throw this whole this in here. So I don't need that. Just copy all that.
Huh, I just realized the top hat is moving. And so is the bomb magnet, which means I might want to do an animation on this bomb magnet thing. So it, it just move, it floats in like, floats in the same way the top hat does. That might make the whole animation work a little bit better. But if they're out of sync, it would look twice as bad. Well, what did I just do? What the hell? What the hell? What's going on? All right, render that. See how it looks. Dang, now that I'm getting some of these tracks to be procedural, it's getting easier. Every track is like, oh, I just copy the last track, throw in the new bass lines without having to twiddle with, um, you know, fiddle around with uh, F mod that much anymore. I just kind of have the F mod done, which is great. Let's watch this in super slow mo. Oh, oh. It's not interpolating its position. It would look a lot better if it was interpolated. Um, I think I'd do a chain. I'll do that chain at move, it's move chain. Move chain, move chain. Oh, it is copying the last pause, but it's a move, the move chain is. So the move system Oh, it updates it updates its children immediately as soon as it moves. And it is using the pause and the last pause. So why isn't it Why isn't it interpolating that? It's weird. The bomb, the bomb has interpolate. Does the top hat have interpolate? Doesn't. Hmm. Oh, it has a move component. It will always be interpolated. And the bomb has interpolate. Oh, well, it's, it's weird, but I don't know. I don't know how to fix that right now. I thought it was just setting the pause and the last pause. Oh well, the bomb's looking good. I like it a little bit smaller. Just one pixel smaller, really. It really should be two pixels smaller or three. But it's a video game. Sometimes you got to do things that just look a little bit better. Oh, I totally see it now. I'm, now that I focus on it, I kind of wish the bomb would. Hey, wait, it could at least make it go up and down. Let's try that. It could get out of sync, though.
That does look better, just having him go up and down. That's cool. Yeah, Suzel, yep. Full time. Still. Still not quite lined up. With this bomb, it's pretty much as close to the center of the top hat as possible. It's like getting farther away, though. Hmm. So maybe just negative one. Good enough. All right, so I modified bomb friend magnet and bomb friend just to make them a little s smaller. Now I want to do it on the HUD too.
All right, let's make sure that that kept the... Yeah, name, nice, bomb zero. Hud bomb. I think I lost this one though. Okay, that could make a nice HUD version. Okay, so this one's got to be called Bomb One. Oh, hold on. Okay, so what's this one here? Bomb icon? Oh, it's got a little shadow on it. Huh? Really? They're trying to just straight up mirror stack exchange? Uh, in 
instead sent you to Walmart? Oh, give me a break. Oh no, it it ruined the last one. What? Super weird. Oh. Oh, oh, it's so auto selecting the layer before I do it. Okay, I was like tripping there for a second. Bomb copy, move it. There, that time I moved the bomb copy. All right, that was confusing. All right, now we can put these together. There you go, bomb icon. HUD bomb, this should be bomb zero. That's bomb one, okay. The rest of the bomb things aren't finished, but let's just render that. This will make the bombs that appear on the ground, as well as the bombs that appear in the inventory, in the menu, the gear menu. They'll just look a little more 3D. Nice, that does look good. Yeah, and the menu, it looks cool, too. It's pretty awesome. I think the menu version, though, could use a, uh, yeah, I could use a few less. Hmm. If I take the two the fuzzy pixels off the top or the bottom, or I could add fuzzy pixels to the bottom. Let's add some fuzzy pixels down here. Draw like I was confused those two render exports. It'd be nice if there was only one render export ever. Lurking and working. That's better. Now, it'll, now it's a little more aligned on the top. Cool. That looks good. That looks better than the other icons. It's much more like an actual entity. Just 
Probably should make these containers glow as well. The same kind of color. So this is already nine pixels tall. Probably be five pixels. Let's see, nine times 0.62. Five and a half, so anywhere from five. See what those look like like that. Hmm. Guess we'll need some glow though.
bomb's looking good. This bomb container still needs some visible pixels on the bottom. Duffy looks a lot better. I'm gonna have to start making all these other cubes look better too. Stuff the diamonds, dang. Yeah, I got to do a whole day just updating HUD sprites. Let's check this in. I like having that bomb done. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna work on the Karsh next. Now what should I do? Oh, I'll do one hero thing. Yeah, let's do one of these animations. Did shield, how about hurt? Hurt's a really easy one. Good push. I think I just need a hurt sheath and hurt sheath in order.
Oh, that's right. This one's a single frame. Oh, it should be two frames at least, just so it's easier to render. Definitely.
Cool. There's one animation done. Animation. It's only one frame. All right, render that. Wait, wait, I got a script for this. All right, let's get these animations. So you just heard animation, so it's east. This is going to be hat. And the sheath one is going to become hat sheath. And this is just sheath. Whoops.
Uh, whoops, wanted to check something. But I can't.
Hmm. Pretty quiet day. Trying not to freeze your ass off. So I'm still thinking this one this one line of pixels here is too too dark. So this looks okay. Six seven three seven one A. But this oh it's the same color. It looks so red in the game. So what if it was like 50%? Oh, it's being covered up. Man, this script is so helpful. Just exports all these frames, keeps me from making mistakes. And it doesn't even affect the document. I can leave like this gray background on and it'll just automatically turn off the gray background and then export the hat and then the hat sheath and then just the sheath. So on. Yeah, so handy. Cause that would take like a good right, yeah. It takes away it takes away a lot of the stress of doing it. Cause like part of the stress is did I just export those files right? You know, like when you have like when you want to do like seven or eight different exports all with different names and all in the right place and everything, like there's so much that you can just make a script for, it's so handy. Yeah, Cropper, I did. I did. I did the script myself, and I just downloaded the JavaScript, uh, the JavaScripting reference for Photoshop. It made it so much easier, like looking up, oh, it has a document, and the document has these functions, and you can duplicate the document and all that. So what it's doing is it's, it's a Photoshop script that just takes the current document, duplicates it to a different document, and then looks through its layers list for layer sets and 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 like names them all so it's like oh i've got a layer set called body and i've got one called hat and one called sheath and shirt and then it goes and like cyclically does all those like so it does body and hat and then body and sheath and then body and hat and sheath and so it turns on it successfully turns on different layers while duplicating documents and then just 
after it's done exporting each one of those documents, it just saves and close without, without, without quitting. So it doesn't even touch the original document or change it, which is really cool. All right, so that looked, uh, let's see. That did look a lot better with this head, with this head like less, less red in the back there. So I gotta change the hurt one too then. And also the run north. Running north. All right, see all that. That animation hasn't changed. Idle North is like no different. Totally is. Make sure it's doing it. It's updating the file. So I can remove assets, textures, shadow, either one of these. And it'll just rebuild. Whoa. Is this this looks darker in the game? Oh, 
Okay, well, let's check that in. That's good. We got a herd animation. Done. Oh, I saved those in the wrong place. Whoops. Okay, so I added her east one. Oh, right, because all these are getting a one. Yeah. East hat, chat sheath, sheath, north, north hat. Yeah, okay. So let's get in all those. Wait. All right, so there's like six files or five or so down into one. Wait, each one had a sheath and a sheath hatless. So yeah, six files down to two. So keeping with the ratio, like about a third, a third less files, so great, a third, third of the files that were there before. So if like if it's if it used to be two hundred files, it'll get down to like sixty or so. That's going to be pretty good. Or 70, maybe. A lot less to maintain. All right, so that's going to be it for today's stream. I'm lazy today. I'm going to sit my ass down, maybe play a video game, drink an alcoholic beverage or something like that. So, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Hope y'all have a nice weekend. I'm not sure if I'll stream tomorrow. I might be lazy again. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we got plans tomorrow. We're going to get massages. Woo! So I won't be streaming tomorrow. Anyways, hope y'all have a great weekend. We'll see ya.